I'm Jay with Explore More Northwest, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up our little guy to a hitch to keep you safe on the road. So if you come with me, we'll go get this going. Hi, welcome back. Before we actually hook to the vehicle, I'm going to go over some terminology to make sure we're all on the same page. Start off with, this is a folding jack, and this is what makes a trailer go up and down and stows away under travel. Next we have a 2 inch coupler. All the trailers we rent have 2 inch couplers and require a 2 inch ball. Then we also have the safety handle which latches the coupler to the ball. We have a seven pin light connector that connects to your vehicle. And we also have seven pin to four pin adapters if you don't have a seven pin on there. Next we have two safety chains that hook to your vehicle. And then we also have a lock to hold the handle down on the coupler. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna go over hooking up your trailer to your tow vehicle. So to start with, you need to lift the latch for the coupler. That way it'll go on the ball and we lower it, which we'll cover in a second. So now we need to go ahead and lift up the trailer to the same height or a little higher than the ball. Now we'll roll the trailer forward over the ball or you'll back your car up to the trailer depending on what kind of condition you're in. And then you'll go ahead and lower the coupler over the ball by lowering the jack. And then once it's securely firm, you can tell that we've got a little pressure on it when the jack wheel starts to move just a little bit, you can see that's moving around. And at this point, you can pull the pin on the jack out. And once you start it to move it, you'll hear it snap into place. And now you know it's locked. So at this point, let's go ahead and go up to the coupler handle. We'll lock that down into place. And you'll know it's locked down when you can't pull it up again. And there's also a hole through the handle that this padlock will fit through. And the only way it'll fit through is if it's all the way latched. So we'll go ahead and put that through and lock it. Now we'll take our safety chains and this hooks on either side of the trailer hitch. We'll go ahead and hook those on and make sure that the chains don't drag. Then we have our light connector. We'll go ahead and plug that in the back. Now before you get going, make sure to close all the doors, lock the doors, close the hatch, lock the latch, close the roof vent, lock the roof vent, and you also need to make sure all the trailer lights work. All right, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the trailer from your tow vehicle. And to start with, we're gonna go ahead and put down the jack. Now we'll disconnect the lights. We'll disconnect the chains from the tow vehicle. And I like to personally fold those up so they're not dragging on the ground while you're camping. And then you can undo the padlock from the handle. We'll just set that on the bumper. Now you can lift the handle. And at this point, we're going to go and lift the trailer up and we'll remove the coupler from the ball on the back of the tow vehicle. And once you have it high enough where you can bend over and you can see air between there, you can go and pull your tow vehicle forward and you're good to go.